What's going on guys? Welcome back to Trafish Aquatics. Today we're going to be testing out two commercially available air pumps, being the Aquaculture and the Whisper air pumps, um, to see which one produces more air for the money. So as you can see here, the Aquaculture is $13 and the Whisper is $23. So let's find out. Alright guys, so we're out in the fish room right now and we're going to be putting these two pumps head to head. Uh, being the Aquaculture 20 to 60 gallon pump and the Tetra Whisper 30 to 60 gallon air pump. And uh, we're going to see which one of them produces more air and if one is worth more than the other because of the cost. So, like I said, you saw earlier in the video, the Aquaculture is about 13 bucks at Walmart and the Tetra Whisper is about $23 at Walmart. So I want to see, is there really a $10 difference? So I've been running both of these pumps in my fish room for a very long time, and I've been running them before I had the fish room. And both of them, I've never had one die on me. I've had them for years, and they both seem to live just as long as each other. So life expectancy on these pumps, I've run them for eight plus years, and they haven't died on me. So I'm very confident in both of these pumps' ability to survive the long run. So what I'm testing for is to see how much air they're actually producing. Um, so how am I going to do that? So basically what we're going to do is behind me, oh the camera brightened up there, I have this sponge filter, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one quart container, you can see it's clear for the most part. Um, the sponge filter has a tube coming up off of it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this with water and then I'm going to hold it upside down over that tube and allow it to fill with air until it reaches the one quart mark which is on this rim right here and at that point I'm going to stop the timer and we're going to see how long it takes to fill a quart of air. Um, obviously the one that fills it faster is producing more air um, so essentially that's the test right and then based off that with how long it takes it to fill one quart we can actually figure out how many um, gallons per hour of air this uh, pump is producing, um, or liters per hour, however you want to figure that out. I'm going to do it gallons per hour because I live in the United States, that's just what we go by. And um, yeah, that's how we're going to do the test. So to make it as close as possible for the test part, I basically have the sponge filter set up on a piece of hose, I've got my two pumps down here, I've got the aquaculture set up here and I have the Tetra Whisper 60. Um, so I'm going to test the Tetra Whisper because that's the one that's already running and um, we'll get a time on that, see how much air that's producing and then I'm going to disconnect this hose, hook it up to the aquaculture, let that one run a little while and then uh, we'll test that one and see how that one performs and then we'll compare our results. Alright, so the first one we're going to do is going to be the Tetra Whisper 3060. Um, now, I only have both of these pumps hooked up. I'm going to go off of one of the two ports that they have um, and run it that way. I'm not going to run a T to combine it to one line or anything. So this is just off of one side of the pump. The other side is left open and not pumping through anything. It doesn't matter because they're both individually run off their own diaphragm. So that's that. So get this cup in here fill it up with water. Now you can see there's no air in this cup at all. It's empty. So we're just going to flip it upside down. And then as soon as I get it over that column of air, I'm going to hit the start button. So here we go. So I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, I hope you can. The container is filling up with air. Stop, okay. So there it is. That is full up to the one quart line of air. So we'll go ahead and release this air now. Okay, 
Okay, so that was... Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to see that. 36.63 seconds. So we'll pull this out. And I will switch the pumps. Alright, so now that's running the aquaculture. So 3663 will reset. No air. All right, ready? Okay, so that's one quart. That took 44.79 seconds. So it took eight seconds longer. Okay. So the aquaculture did take eight seconds longer to fill up a quart. So that's very interesting. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to take both of the air valves in each pump, connect them together through a T, and we are going to test that way. Um, so obviously based on those two times that we just got, the aquaculture rated for 20 to 60 definitely produces less air off of a singular valve. Um, so we're gonna try it with both valves and see if they both compare um, because they are both technically rated for 60 gallons with both valves. Um, so we're going to get a time on that and then compare it and then we're going to, well, I guess I'm going to decide which pump I still think is worth the money. Um, and then as a bonus, we're going to throw in, I also have a Whisper 100. We're going to do a test on that and see how that compares to everything else. Um, so here we go. This is going to be the Whisper 60 um, with both diaphragms running to a singular line. in here. All right, ready? Okay, so there's a quart. It took 32 seconds. So it did shave a little bit of time off of the original. So we're going to switch it over now to the aquaculture. Okay, so this is the aquaculture. I'm reset this. 32 seconds was on the whisper. So I guess we'll see what this one does. Ready?
believe it or not, 31 seconds. That's interesting. So, essentially what I'm seeing here is the the Tetra Whisper 60, 30 to 60, um, we're gaining a couple of seconds off of the one valve to dual valve. Um, and the aquaculture, we're actually picking up almost, almost 12 to 15 seconds increase on fill time, which means that it is definitely putting out a lot more air versus the Whisper did on dual valves, um, which is actually quite surprising. Um, so I guess what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the camera around because I have the Tetro, uh, the Whisper 100 on my Red Devil tank, and we're going to test that um, because when I rebuilt that pump, I noticed that it uses the exact same internals as the 60. So I want to see if it does actually produce more air um, or if it's just a little bit of a marketing scam. Um, so we're going to go ahead and turn this around and uh, we'll test that one. All right, so this sponge filter right here is what I have the 100 hooked up to, and the actual, the second valve of the 100 is hooked up to the air stone over there. So that 100 is driving all the air in this tank. Um, and just by looking at it, it does look like it's actually putting off a little bit more air than the Whisper 60 does off of one valve. Um, but we're gonna test it and find out and see if, how that one is comparison uh, wise. And then uh, I'll sit down and I'll talk about the three um, I'll figure out how much time it took for them to fill everything, how many gallons per hour that is for each one, and then uh, the cost, and you know, we'll do a little bit of a comparison. So here we go on the test here. Ready? Get out of here. Bite me, I'm gonna be mad at you. Okay. All right, so it's definitely not a marketing scam because that only took 23 seconds to fill a quart. So that one is definitely putting out way more air than both of the other ones combined. Um, that was actually faster off of one valve than both of those other pumps were off of uh, both valves together. Um, so that's actually quite surprising. So uh, let me do a little bit of math on these and we'll sit down and we'll talk about it. Alright guys, so I've run the numbers on all three air pumps. Um, I'm going to give you that information here in a second. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to talk about how I'm going to get these numbers uh, that way, if you want to do a test similar to this, you can kind of figure it out on your own. Um, so basically, the way I calculated this out is I took the amount of time that it took to fill a quart, and you multiply that by four. The reason I'm doing that is because four quarts is a gallon. And what that's going to give you is going to give you the amount of time in seconds that it takes to fill a gallon, right? And then you want to take that time and divide it by 60, because there's 60 seconds in a minute. And that's going to give you how many minutes it took to fill that gallon, right? So then what you're going to do is you're going to take 60 minutes in an hour and divide it by the amount of minutes that it took to fill a gallon, and that's going to give you how many gallons per hour that air pump is producing in air. All right, so the first one that I want to talk about is going to be the aquaculture, because that one had the largest amount of difference between the single and double. Um, so to recap, the single filled a quart in 44.79 seconds, and for the double, filled a quart 31.06, right? So the difference in that is 13.73 seconds, um, which is quite a bit of difference and a big improvement, honestly, if you ask me. Um, so on the single port, you were getting 20 gallons per hour of air produced, and then on the W, you're getting 29.12. So you're almost looking at a 50% increase when you run two valves versus just one. Um, so that's pretty good, you know, for what you're paying for that air pump. Um, now, the Whisper 60, 
on the single we got 36.63 seconds um, and on the double we got 31.96 seconds um, the difference being 4.67 um, now gallons per hour off the single is 24.6 gallons per hour and off of the double is 28.17 so that one performed better on the single and slightly worse on the double and that's pretty interesting to me because um, you think it would have performed a little bit better than that but it didn't um, and then the Whisper 100 we had a, I only tested the single and that performed at 23 seconds um, so on its own compared to the um, the doubles of the other pumps it filled the quart faster by 8 seconds um, so that it doesn't even compare when it comes to that one versus the other ones because that one obviously outperforms them um, gallons per hour we're looking at 39.22 so even on the doubles you're getting 10 gallons per hour more than the aquaculture on both ports off of one valve off of the Whisper 100 so I thought that was a very interesting piece um, now which one would I rather purchase um, in my opinion I'm drawing all over myself um, in my opinion I would purchase the aquaculture now here's why so if all you're trying to do is get air into a aquarium to agitate the surface for gas exchange because that's what we're using them for right um, 20 gallons an hour is still good compared to 24 gallons an hour so essentially it's going to cost you ten dollars more up front to get four more gallons an hour out of the whisper 60 versus the aquaculture now if you wanted to run them double right two valves into one to run a sponge filter or something like that to get a lot of air driving through it so that it filters the water better um, if we take out human error off of double we've got 31.06 for the aquaculture and the whisper 60 is at 31.96 that could totally have been me so I'm just gonna say both of them ran 31 seconds they are exactly the same now if they are exactly the same would you want to pay $10 more for one opposed to the other if they are both going to live the same amount of time? No. I would pick the aquaculture not only because it's cheaper, because it performs just as well, it has just the same amount of life expectancy as the Whispers in my experience, um, and I would rather save that $10 because you know what that $10 is going to get you? It's going to get you some airline and a sponge filter. All right, so you get your air pump, air line, and sponge filter as opposed to just an air pump, and then you still have to go out and spend 10 bucks to get the line and a filter. So my personal winner in this little test is going to be the Aquaculture. Um, so not sponsored by any of these products or anything like that, but that's the one that I would pick. That's the one that wins in my eyes. You know, unless you want something that is going to be driving an entire aquarium, then I would definitely go with the Whisper 100. Um, for what that cost, I believe that pump cost me about $35, um, but for the amount of air, I keep drawing on myself, but for the amount of air that it's putting out, it, it is it blows these other pumps out of the water, figurative speech. Um, so yeah, aquaculture for the win for this one guys, thanks for watching Trafish Aquatics, I will see you guys in the next video.